the man uh, who is coming on now uh, via video, John Shalman, is very special to me. He lives out in Los Angeles. He was a student of mine decades ago. He sent me a copy of his book, which was just recently published. It is called Return from Siberia. It consists in part of a translation of his grandfather's travails in Siberia, where he was sentenced. Where he was sentenced. It is an inspiring book, and it contains more than a little of wonderful insights by John Shalman himself. I mention this because after I read the book, I decided to teach for one more year. If this guy can do what he did and remain standing, then I can give it one more year. Maybe it's a mistake. I'll let you know. Uh, maybe I don't have the goods to do it uh, anymore, but one more year. And uh, I just have to say thank you to uh, my family. My wife, Ellen, who understands more than anyone I've ever met what it's like in the classroom and what you have to do to be worthy of the classroom. To my daughter, Sarah, and her husband, Gary. My daughter, Sarah, is an MD, PhD. I think we must have taken the wrong kid home from the hospital. Uh, I have no ability whatsoever when it comes to the natural sci sciences, and she is spectacular. And finally, I'd like to thank Joshua and his wife, Charity. Charity, who can make me laugh, and I'm not easy. Laughter does not come easy to me. It can make me laugh more easily than anyone else. And I'd like to thank my son, Joshua, who after graduating from Iowa, went into the Army, became a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne, served in Iraq and Afghanistan, came back, took a second degree, and is now a federal employee. Uh, Joshua and my whole family knows that this is a country that is worth dying for. So thanks for your attention. I want to just thank, thank, thank you for that lecture. Thanks very much. But before, we, before we close, we have one more special message from, from John Schaumann uh, that Professor Holstein just referenced, and, and we'd like to go to John now. Thanks, Nate, and by the way, thank you so much for putting me in the position of following Jay Holstein, my hero, one of the great lecturers of all time. Uh, you can't follow that, so no one's gonna remember what I have to say, but let me give this a try. I wanna, before I make my big announcement, I wanna take you back in time to 1982. I'm probably listening to Eye of the Tiger or Tainted Love on my Walkman as I find a seat in the lecture hall for my very first class as a freshman at the University of Iowa. It's Judeo-Christian tradition. So as a Jewish kid, I figured I'll do well in at least half of that class. All of a sudden the doors bust open and a dude walks in with a black leather jacket, some aviator sunglasses, short cropped hair. It's Jay Holstein. And he says a bunch of stuff, but here's what I remember. I remember him saying, you're gonna die. He was talking about Ecclesiastes or something like that. And um, what he was really saying to a bunch of 18 year olds is that you better make every day count. And uh, that, that just changed my life. Just, it was an incredible thing. In fact, I was so inspired. I went and volunteered to be a Sunday school teacher at the Hillel down the street to teach fifth graders Sunday school. Now I did my best to channel Jay Holstein um, and in Ecclesiastes, I'm not sure the kids understood what I was saying, and I'm pretty sure their parents didn't appreciate what my lesson was, but I loved it immensely. Why? Because I was being Jay. And being Jay Holstein is sort of 
all I've ever wanted to be in my personal quest for human destiny. Now that class totally changed my life. Jay Holstein taught me, frankly, how to read. Obviously, I understood how to recognize words on paper, but he understood how to teach people to look at books as gifts. And every time I opened a book, uh, it didn't matter whether it was Hess or Hemingway, I learned about life. I learned about man and his relationship with man and, and nature. And it, it, was, it was an incredible way to tell us the power of stories. I was never so inspired as I was with Jay Holstein. So here I am, 38 years, long years later, thanking him for being such an amazing teacher, my hero and role model. And one way of thanking him is to honor him. So we're honoring you, Jay. I'm excited to share that we started a special scholarship in your honor, the Professor Jay Holstein Scholarship Fund. Now this fund celebrates Jay's esteemed career at Iowa and will give opportunities to undergraduate students to flourish in today's changing world, to develop the skills I think about thinking carefully and critically, writing clearly, speaking persuasively, exhibiting an impressive awareness of cultural and religious diversity, working cooperatively with people who are different from you, it's pretty important today, understanding some of the religious causes of human conflict and violence, and cultivating curiosity about matters of life and death. I cannot think of a better time or a better way for us to recognize and continue Jay's incredible legacy. For those like myself who have been influenced and inspired by Jay, I encourage you to help pave the way for future generations. So please join me in contributing to this newly established fund by visiting the link below. Again, I am so happy to be part of this evening's festivities all the way from Los Angeles. It truly is an honor. I wanna thank you all. Nate, back to you.